What you're looking at right now is my jury-rigged film developing gizmo. Nothing in here is made for photography in any way. I bought a sous vide water temperature bath on eBay. Sous vide uh, water baths are for cooking. And it can keep the water temperature at a specific temperature within one tenth of a degree. And it has a circulating pump inside. It's inside a tub that came with the sous vide unit. The three stainless steel tanks I got from a restaurant supply place online. And the rack that the tanks are sitting on. I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. So a couple of things. The tanks currently have water in them. I'm not really doing developing right now. I'm just fiddling with the setup. So one thing is that the temperature of the water bath has to actually be a little bit higher than the temperature that you're looking for to make the chemicals. I'm testing it for 70 degrees and the sous vide unit requires that I set it to 70.6 in order to get 70 inside the tanks. I assume that that's because that although stainless steel is great at transmitting heat from the water bath into the chemicals, it's also pretty good at dissipating heat from the part of the tank that's in the air. So there's a differential there, but I fiddle around with it a little bit. I'm sure I'll probably have to fiddle around with it and adjust it as the room temperature changes. Right now it's it's winter time. It's actually about three degrees Fahrenheit outside on Long Island. Cold as it's been for a long time. It's supposed to go down to zero. So the uh, the water level I had to play around with that for a while too because there's a minimum water level on this unit, the sous vide unit of three inches. There's a mark on the side of the unit there uh, for the minimum and then there's another one for the maximum. If the water level is below the minimum, the uh, intake port for the water pump uh, would be uncovered so it stops operating at that point. It just shuts off. It beeps at you and then it shuts off. <coughs> The um, rack that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond was about five or six inches high and I cut it down to be th so that the top of the rack is three inches above the bottom. Then I played around a little bit with the water level. There's 16 ounces of water in each one of the three tanks so basically I, f I filled them with, with the 16 ounces of water, put them on the rack and then started filling the tank, uh, the bath that is, until right, right before they started to pop up off the rack because of the buoyancy of the, the tanks. So a little bit less than the, the uh, a little bit less than what would make them float. And if I use 32 ounces, those tanks actually hold about quart and a half or a liter and a half and uh, they would um, would be heavier so that they wouldn't uh, float but then they would stick up out of the water more so I'd have to readjust the, uh, the differential between the water bath and the tanks and they probably put more water in there also. I can still put another about two inches of water in the tank before we get to the maximum for the sous vide unit. And then I have a little digital thermometer here, which I don't know if you can see that. It says exactly 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's been working. It's been sitting here for 15 minutes or so. And uh, it seems to work great. My intention is that I will use the three tanks for developer, stop bath, and fixer. And as I pour the developer into the developing tank, I will um, put the 
restaurant supply tank into the sink and then put the developing tank into the bath to replace it. And then as I put the stop and the developer, uh, stop and the fixer rather, into the tank, the water level will go down some, but it should be fine. I mean, the, the most important thing temperature wise is the developing anyway, so it should be okay for the fixing, developing, fixing, and stopping. 